welcome everyone in my youtube channel educator jeevan in today's video guys i will give you idea about how to take online exam or how to do the online assessment in your zoom class or in, in your google meet or any of other platforms so guys before jumping to the today's topic uh, if you guys if you guys have not subscribed my youtube channel educator jeevan then don't forget to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon to receive the notification for the upcoming videos so uh, in this video i'll be talking about uh, google forms and uh, yes i will talk about each and every things about the google forms and yes this google forms can be used to take the online exam in all the subjects so watch this video till the end guys i will talk about all the questions that you can keep in the google forms and uh, i will talk about how to create and how to do each and every things in details in the today's video so guys don't forget to watch the video till the end so let's start you can search google form just click in the yes after that yes you can go for the create forms yes just hit in the create then yes you will come up over here and you can go to the google forms click in the go to google forms click over here and now you'll get or oh, yes now you can get your google form you can just have a blank one or as per the choices this is the one way you can uh, start or, or or you can create a google form the next way is uh, here you can type drive.google.com drive.google.com yes and just enter it now you can see that my drive is opening my google drive is opening here you'll get the new button just click in the new options after that there is a more over here when you come in more you'll get the google forms and just now you can just go here and just go for the open a google blank form this is the way you can create a google forms either from your drive or you can directly search a google form so now you can see that i have uh, come to uh, my new google form so you can see at the top it is on title one test test form yes after that yes you can see here these are one questions and next one is about the responses i will talk about the responses in later videos also no worries right now let's focus on the questions like how to make little questions in google form so mm, this is all about the mm, test form and you can even write the descriptions about the form okay answers all the questions answers all the questions okay let's write the descriptions in this way you can write in your own now let's talk about the questions now she here when you talk about the questions now when you just click over there what you will get is you will get the plus sign add questions you can even import the questions you can add title description you can add images you can even add the videos and you can even add the sections so in these questions uh, especially if you want to uh, do online exam then guys don't forget to write the name name of the students first name of the student so after after writing the name of students you can just go for their multiple choice or many others so what you need to do is you can just choose the short answer from here so after that yes this one you can see there is a delete options or even you can duplicate the same questions or yes there is a required you can see there is a required options over here so what you can do is just record because a name is compulsory so that the until and unless now when you do the required options over here until and unless the student don't write their names or don't write in the short answer text then yes they cannot able to submit this form so and this is how you can go for the name let's and for the next question there is a plus sign over here add question just click in over here now you can see there there is a next question for you so let's talk let's make a questions okay uh, yes we will talk about the short answer text now let's talk about the multiple choice yes it's generally the default one you'll get the multiple choice as the default one so after writing the questions there is options just hit the options over here which one is the name of 
animals okay just write here okay lion whatever you want you just use if you go for the add order you can add as much as you want let's say mango tree yes whatever things guys you just keep on keep on putting over there in this way you can go for arranging you can make the multiple choice questions so this is all about the multiple choice questions after that guys again let's go for the next question next type of question just hit the plus options over here and yes i have already told you guys if you want to make your students to do it or uh, yes then you can just go for the required or if you if you don't want then yes you don't need to click this one okay now let's go to the next question okay in in this one uh, let's discuss about the different one let's discuss about the check boxes i just want to go for the check boxes and in this case of the check boxes when you or students are supposed to choose the more than one option then yes this check boxes is really nice option for you so let's uh, let's make one question here now you can see here yes the questions have already prepared here choose all the correct answer all the correct and names of names of animals yes now the students have much more choices there's lion tiger yes in this way you can make a checkbox questions now in the next let's talk about the drop drop down in case of the drop down yes uh, yes pick like this kind of like like this type of type of questions the student can pick one of the choices and just drop it down so this is how you can like i have make a pick your sections like one a one b one c yes, they can just uh, pick their own sections respectively so this is how the questions can be made uh, regarding about the drop down and uh, now let's go to the next type of question again now let's talk about the multiple multiple grid choice also this is also the one of the really nice one nice nice way mm, to do lots of things like drawings and fill in the blanks and many other questions from the multiple choice grid also okay so for this uh, i you, you can even you know in the google form you can even uh, bring uh, or you can even attach the image file also so if you want to attach the email files then yes you can click over there yes in image and after that yeah you can upload from here from your browsers or from camera url photos google drive google image search let's go for the google image search for right now you can search and just pick up the one of the image that you want and just insert over here uh, the different layer of the soil okay now you can see here the picture is already inserted i want to just uh, make resize this one so click in that image and just drag in this way so that it will get resized okay you can resize as per your choice okay now after that uh, in case of this multiple choice grid uh, yes you can do the labeling very very easily over here so just write here a row okay it's a b over here similarly c over here and about in the columns so let's go for giving the different names like mm, uh, top soil soft soil okay bedrock just let's go for the bedrock after that uh soft soil top soil top soil after that let's write soft soil okay this is how you can even do the labeling or any other things these types of questions can be done by the help of the multiple choice grid mm, let's talk about the next type of question that is about the tick box grid yes when you click here you will get the ticks box grid and this type of question is especially useful if you have a more than one choice like if you, in this case you can see the bodybuilding fruits are uh, chicken and meat so the students are supposed to choose the two or more different options and i can keep the similarly energy giving foods and many other things added together so this can be a very good idea to do these things in the google form so uh, this is the way how you can prepare the questions so after doing this guys still there is lot lots of things is still left so let's go to the setting here first you can see at the top you can see there's a setting options if you want to view or preview then you can just go for the preview over here and you can even customize the theme as per your choice so let's go for the setting first 
yes in setting you can get the general presentation and quizzes here so if you want to collect the email addresses also you can go for the collect the email address of all the students and it's up to your choice if you don't want then don't click here and yes require sign in limit to one response yes if you just click here then students can only get chance to submit only one time right so respondents can edit after submit see summary chart it's up to your choice if you just give them click then they can edit after the summit also it's up to your choice after that but one thing is you are supposed to do the limit only one response to one student so this is the this is what you need to do now if you talk about the presentation yes it's no need to worry about it yes let's go for the quizzes side okay if you want to make this google form as a quiz that means it will automatically be checked by the google form itself so you don't need to check it again again suppose so if you want to make this google form as a quiz then simply what you can do is you just click in this make this a quiz after that yes release the marks immediately yes immediately after the submission you can release the marks i prefer to uh, submit the marks immediately after the submission so i just let it be it's up to up to you yes and responded and the respondent can see what kind of question only the mix only the missed questions correct questions or point values i want the all so it's fine i i, I will do the same over here yes after making a quiz you need to come back and you just to choose the correct answer for this share when you come to the question back again after make after after changing the setting to make a quiz then yes you will get the options over here answer key just click in the answer key yes which one is the answer which one is the name of the animals it's lion just click the correct answer and just assign the point accordingly let's assign one point done similarly yeah, next question just click in the just go and edit that okay what is the name the choose the correct names of animals this is all about the checkbox yes uh, this is, here is you just you are supposed to go the answer key lion and tiger let's give two two points for this okay this is how after changing the setting to make a quiz so that you will so that after that you can just uh, put the answer key then it will be automatically checked by the or you can get the marks automatically so you don't need to go for checking individuals responses so after this yes even you can if you want to add the any answers feedback then you can even answer okay let's say dude please whatever you want to write okay congratulations or lion and tigers are only the animals whatever you want lion and then tiger or animals but let's say bunyan and neem are plants so if you want to add feedbacks also yes you can write over here it's up to your choice so this is how you can convert your google forms into quiz and it will be automatically so now after completing just do it done so and yes if you i already told you about the required if you compiled or if you just uh, hit the required option then the students are compiled to or they are supposed to do it it's compulsion to them otherwise they cannot submit this form so it's up to your choice so similarly i will go through all the all the things over here just uh, wait uh, for this i don't need the answer key but yes they are supposed to choose the section so i i make it required yes it is compulsion for the students to submit uh, to choose one of that one similarly i will go for keeping the answer key of this also in this way yes let's see the a here a is a top soil i can choose similarly i can give a point over here and the b is a soft soil i can just click here and i can just assign a point in this way after that c is a bedrock okay so that i can do it down over here similarly i will go for the next i'll keep on the okay the next you can see the answer key at the bottom okay let's go for the answer key bodybuilding foods okay bodybuilding foods are chicken and meat similarly i will assign a point in this way energy giving food is a rice and bread similarly i will just add the points now my google form my questions is ready so this is how you can prepare your questions in a google form so 
you can see at the top there is total point nine also so whatever things you can see here, in the name of the students there is a reddish asterisk over here that means it is a compulsion to do for the students similarly you can see in the sections okay this is how you can make a different varieties of questions by the help of the google form so i hope uh, you understand about the different types of the questions that can be prepared from the google forms and now after completing this what you need to do is at the top there is a, there is a, you'll get the url link right either you click over there and yes and just copy that and you just paste in your google in, in your zoom class in the chat box over there or any other platform so that the students can go and can keep on doing their work so next thing is let's customize the themes yes you, you can even customize by choosing a different color you can see there is a color changing in the form yes even you can choose an image what what kind of image what you want to choose you can upload you can photos and for right now let's go for the one random one okay let's go this one and let's insert this now you can see there the header you can see the header of the form it changed right in this way also you can customize this little bit okay you can even customize the front call your front style what kinds of front style you want to use you can change from here let's see the formula you can see there my when i change over here you can see i can change the you know font style also so this is how you can make your google form and yes you can take an online exam next thing is there is uh, this is all about the questions and there is one about the responses so yes uh yes when the responses will come yes when you just uh, give it to the students then the students will fill up the forms so they will just choose the correct answers uh, and then the responses will be collected and yeah, you'll get the numbers over here so right now these i have prepared a very fresh question so there is no responses in the next video i will be talking about the responses how to uh, take the data from that and how to make that uh, you know data much more easier for you to keep the records so thank you for watching this video uh, i hope this video is useful for you guys and uh, guys if you have anything to write just write down in the chat box below and uh, one more thing guys don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel educator jeevan and hit the bell icon for the latest video thank you everyone see you in next video bye bye all